Day nine. Sober October, right? Yeah. It wouldn't be real life if Kitty wasn't sick. You didn't say hello? Or say much of nothing. So we'll go to the vet and figure out what's wrong. I'm no doctor, but puking and diarrhea and all that shit doesn't seem like a good thing. In New York City, in New York City. In New York City, things happen pretty fast. <laughs> so we're at, we're at the vet. She's intrigued. She doesn't look like she's in pain, but who the fuck knows what that looks like with cats. She's interrupting me from my work. That's the real deal, Holyfield. So the preliminary uh, assessment says that she's in stable condition, which means she's just in better condition than everybody else who's in here with animals that can't move or are probably not responding. And I don't know whether to bring her home or not. I mean, I do, I should just bring her home because it will cost 150 bucks to see somebody to tell me something. Really simple, like she probably just needs fluids from throwing up. But she's never thrown up before, so I think she also was acting weird because of that earlier. But who knows, man? I'm no fucking cat doctor. What do you think, Kitty? You wanna go home? She's, she did a whole like lap around the room, and she checked it all out, so she doesn't seem like she's like out of commission. Ah, uh, but you know, nobody wants their creature to be poisoned. Unless you're gonna eat them, and then you should poison them with all types of chemicals and shit. And make them big and fat and juicy so that you can eat them later, right? Only poison animals if you're gonna eat them. I don't know, baby, what do you wanna do? Well, they said the wait was gonna be hella long at the place, and I got too much shit to do, and I'm pretty sure this is what it's gonna be like when you have kids, where they're like, oh, I'm really sick and I gotta go to the doctor, but you're like, oh, shut up, child. I have to do work and I have to find a way to earn for this family. So, Kitty's gonna sit inside and uh, we'll keep an eye on her. But she didn't seem to ring any alarms um, in, the, uh, in the doctor's office. Nobody seemed to be worried. And plus, all these other animals had priority over her, I guess. So, when she gets put down on the priority scale, I'm like, well, fuck it, then. I guess I shouldn't be worried. So we'll see what happens and then tomorrow we'll just bring her to a regular doctor. Or my wife will, She's holding it down. So much shit that I owe to that lady. And Kitty owes to that lady. We're gonna have to put Kitty in some commercials because she's gonna have to start earning some money, earning her share around here. Motherfuckers breaking their back and dropping everything to go take care of her. Show your support to Kitty by subscribing and also buying a t-shirt or something. I'll put the link down below and uh, your funds can go to help pay for Kitty's medical bills. Deuces, I love you. Well, it'll be day 10, sober October. She's fine. She's playing me super close though. And she threw up for the first time yesterday. Poor girl. Never threw up before. 
at least not that I know of. She's never in her life thrown something up, so I'm sure she was just taken for a loop. But she'll survive. Yeah? You think you'll survive? Pray for Kitty.